All right, welcome everybody. Today's video finds us up here in Lopbury. Anyway, this is a pretty cool town. It's uh, famous for the monkeys and all of that. But what I really like about Lopbury is some of the old ruins. They have some pretty cool temples and all of that up here. So today I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you some of the ruins that are here around inside of the town. I've done a couple videos from up here. I've done the Wat Maha Hat. I've done the uh, Wat Praha Sam Yot, the, uh, the Khmer temple that's got all the monkeys on it. And that's in my playlist if you wanna see uh, those temples over here in Lotbury. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some of the other ones, some of the smaller ones that you can do on foot and they're free. So you can just walk around while you're here in the city. So let's take a look. So this temple right here is Wat Nakon Kosa. And on the, there was some ruins here before that was a Khmer temple, a Khmer place of worship that has fallen down. And then they built on top of it. They built the big chetty back there, and then King Narai built the uh, ordination hall and the uh, Weehan. So there's been a couple different layers of development here at this, uh, at this temple. So you can see here the little prong, it's got some of the stucco on it. And then this would have been the Weehan. And you can see a little bit of the walls. It's in pretty bad shape but it's just right here next to the railroad tracks. Yeah, this is a nice look at this little ruin. You can see the base around this chetty. I would like to have known how tall this chetty was. Yeah, being right here next to the railroad tracks and the train station, this is an easy walk to get over here and see. And right over here, this would have been the ordination hall. It would have been facing to the east with the entrance. And it's just down pretty much to the base. There's a few parts of the Buddhas over here and then a couple of the uh, artifacts and stuff that are just kind of laying out in the, in the weather. And it's just right here, there's houses and everything else all around it. Okay, so let's walk over to the next little ruin. It's one's right across the railroad tracks. Okay, so right here, this is the Prakran Shrine and it has a little ruin right behind it. And this place here, there's monkeys all over, so you actually have to be careful filming out here. Now up on this little hill, you can see it's a former Khmer Prong, and it's kind of a hill now. They have a little building, but you can't go up there. So all you can do is see the shrine. Let's take a look at it right now. Right, so here is the little shrine. You can see the people are uh, making the offerings right here and sticking the gold on it. You can see the little shrine over here a little bit better. So there would have been a chetty there, and then that would have been kind of the little mountain. And you can see the gates closed off, so you can't go up there. So right here, this is Praha Samyot. It's a former Khmer temple, and it was expanded. You can see this little building over here. It was expanded by King Narai. And this is one that you have to pay 50 baht to go in, or you can buy like a little package for 100 baht. This is uh, also where all the monkeys are. So this is a small little tiny site. This is what Intra. And it's just across the railroad tracks from uh, the first temple we looked at. And all that's uh, remaining here is this little wee hand. There's a little bit of a mound also, but they haven't excavated this. So they just left this kind of, kind of how you see it. And it's just all right here in the month and amongst all these buildings. All right, so this is Wat Bandai Hin. And this was constructed during the reign of King Narai. So in the 1700s, and it still has some of the stucco and then you can see up here on the chetty, you can see the lotus flowers. And that was a popular trademark of uh, the Lotbury era. And there's uh, not a whole lot here either. Now this is just right next to the train station. So this is probably one of the first ones that you can see when you come. And then this is on the inside. And here's where the Buddha would have sat. And then it has like the little notches here. So they would have put candles in or they could have put little Buddha images in them also. But they would have done like some ceremonies where they put some candles in there and had this whole thing glowing. Yeah, and there's just the four walls and the little chetty at this room. And you can see it's right next to the train station. They have this old English locomotive that's sitting right out here that's on permanent display. And then right across from the train station is probably the best ruin here in Lotbury, Wat Mahahat. Now it's one you have to pay to go into. It's part of a 
the package deal you can get for 100 baht or just pay 50 baht to go in here to this one. And it is worth it. Now I've done a video of this by itself and it's in my playlist. And this is, if you come to Lotbury, this is the one that you have to go in and see. This one is fantastic. The, some of the ruins are in bad shape, but it still has some really cool architecture and uh, definitely one that you want to go in here and take a look at. And this is a good look at the front here. So it has all the chetties. It has some big, huge halls. A couple of them are in fantastic condition. And most of them, though, are down to the base like this. Okay, so let's keep walking around here and uh, see what else that uh, Lotbury has. All right, so to the south of all those ruins is a little bit of the former city wall. You can see the, the rubble over here or the little berm. And then we'll look at the arch. The arch is in nice shape. It's right over here. So this is called Pratu Chai, which is the Arch of Victory. Pratu means like door or exit. And then Chai is like, uh, like Chayo. I believe that's the translation of it anyway. And then it just has like a little road now that goes out into there. But this has been restored here. You can see the beams up there are pretty fresh. And then uh, there's not a whole lot of it, maybe about 30 meters or so, 30, 40 meters. All the rest of the bricks have been scavenged and hauled away. On the outer side, actually, it's a little better to see. You can see they put those little battlements up on the top. And then over here is another part of the wall. And now there's just some houses and stuff built right up here next to it. So right here, this is the Samdet Praha Narai National Museum. And it also has the uh, former palace of King Narai. And just all here in the middle of the town. And this is part of the pay. So this is uh, open from eight till four. And I've done a video from here and this is fantastic. Here's the little uh, booth over here. And then it goes in there, there's the museum and the ruins and everything. Oh, and we got some nice ladies out here. They're uh, dressed up, which is pretty fun. Oh, and a bunch more over here. So they got all the traditional clothes. And you can go in here and you can spend, this is a place you'd probably want to spend about four hours or so in. The museum is fantastic and the ruins are great. But we're not gonna go in here today. We're just walking around the downtown area. This is a little bit of the outer wall here around the palace. Yeah, this is King Narai's palace and it is Definitely one that you have to stop and see when you're here in Lotbury. All right, let's keep walking around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you can't miss King Narai's palace. It has this whitewashed stuccoed wall all around it. And then it's just all surrounded by all of uh, Lotbury. Now there's a couple sections of Lotbury that are pretty cool. They have some of the old buildings and all of that. These are a little bit more of the new construction. They're not as uh, nice to look at. But you still have monkeys running all around and doing the thing. And it being Thailand, right next to King Narai's palace on the whole road over here is this fresh market that stretches all down the whole road. So everybody will come over here, buy their fresh vegetables, buy some snacks, food to take home, all that. And I'm sure this sets up every day. So you can see here they got chicken. They got some of the pork knuckles, he's butchering it up. And she's got some stuff for sale here noodles, all the stuff you normally see. Now there's a little tiny ruin jammed in between some buildings here. And it's entire, I believe this was part of the indoor plumbing. Like this was like for the water to go from here into the palace. King Narai put some uh, pipes and everything into the palace and he made it as uh, modern as it possibly could be for back in the 1700s. They had some like uh, terracotta pipes and uh, that's how they got water into the palace. So he had fountains and everything else in there. Okay, so this is probably one of the better ones that are just out here for you to look at. This is the Davistan Prang Kek, and it's a Khmer style, and it has three of these prongs, and then it has a couple other little buildings that were added on later on. These, I believe, are around like the 800s, the style. And uh, like this little building here was added on. So this was like the 15th 
century era of the Buddhist calendar. And it's just down to the bricks. So it'll have the normal Khmer stuff that you'll see. It'll have like the fake entrances and it'll have these doors over here. And this is a, uh, like the relic chamber here. And there's just the base. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's pretty dark in there. Just the base. So they would have probably had like the little Shiva thing. Oh, and it has like some notches and stuff around it in there. And then you can kind of look up in. This is locked up, so I can't go inside, which is a shame. It smells like uh, guano in there. And then this, uh, this little uh, building was added on, probably under like King Narai. And then over here, so there's the, the fake entrances. And then it would have had the corn cob tie up and the little notches up here. And uh, that one there is completely empty on the inside. Yeah, this is a nice little ruin just sitting right here. This one here just has the east and west walls. The other one over there is a little two-story building, but there's not a single entrance. It's all been uh, blocked off. You can see they've supported that, that wall right there. And all the important stuff has been moved out of here. So when they excavated it, any of the important relics have been moved into the museum. I think some of them are in the King Narai's museum there at his palace. I went through that whole museum and it's like, there was so much stuff you can't absorb it all. Yeah, this little building right here is a little two-story. And you can see the Lotbury style where they have kind of the arched windows up top. And then they've bricked off the whole base of it. So there's nothing that you can, uh, nothing you can do to get inside of it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You can uh, just get off the train here in Lotbury and you can spend a few hours just walking around. Now it's about noon now and it is scorching hot. So uh, I'm drenched in sweat, but it's nice. You can uh, get out here and you can see some of these ruins and just walk around, spend as much time as you want. Most of them, there's not a whole lot to see. You can just uh, read the little data panel and uh, walk around and look at it for a little bit and then go on to the next one. There's a whole bunch more. There's uh, like the ambassador's residence and some other little temples and stuff. So we're gonna try to walk over there and see them. Now I want to actually find a little bit more of the city wall. I was told some of the city wall is fantastic but I've just seen like the, the rubble and all of that. So I'll keep walking around here and see what yeah, I this see. is a nice look at these three prongs. And then that little two-story building is over there. Now there's a road that just goes all around it. It's just kind of right here in like a little miniature traffic circle. So you gotta kind of be wary of cars. And you can see all those little indentations for all the important, uh, like the Buddha relics and all of that. Now this right here to me is fantastic. So this is the Rue de France, or it's the, uh, the French soy. And the reason it's named that is you're right here at the uh, residence for the uh, former ambassadors. And this is just down the road from that last little temple, just a little bit. So we'll, we'll pop in here right quick. Now this is part of the pay package. You gotta pay 50 baht to go in here and see it. Here's the wall and the arches. And right here is the, the little booth. I've done a video from here, so I'm not gonna go in and see it again. You can just take a look at it here from uh, the front. And this is quite entertaining. This is a good little ruin. All right, let's go over. There's another temple just to uh, the south of here. All right, so this little temple here is Wat Puan, I think is how you say that. And it's another one of the temples that, I, they believe this was uh, renovated under the reign of King Narai. And they're not really sure if there was another temple here on these grounds before or not. They just know there are some records of uh, King Narai uh, building this temple here. It could have been some of the Khmer ruins here before. It also could have been some of the, uh, the Deavaradi temples another kingdom that was here before uh, the, the Ayutthaya kingdom. So there's not a whole lot to see, you just have these four walls and then you have the pedestal over there for the Buddha. And you have some more of the, uh, the temple grounds like the wall, there was probably was some more of the buildings and everything. But all that's really here now is this ruin. 
so not a whole lot more to see. So over here by the ambassador's residence, they have this little Chinese shrine. And you have, I think this is like the, uh, the tower that goes, that connects heaven to uh, earth. And then you have the yin and yang. Let's take a quick look in here. We have a place here for the incense and the oil. Normal Chinese temple. See what the main Buddha images look like. So they have them, they're pretty small. You have the past, present, and future, I believe is what these are. Yeah, this is a nice little temple. You see all the paintings on the wall. Kind of cool. And they have some old paintings of uh, 25, 11. It must have been when it was built. So it's 2565, I think, this year. And you can see the, how the doors are painted. I think that's that Guan Yo, that warrior guy. And you can see the images up there. They have the little Buddha images around their neck. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And a little bit more of Lotbury itself. Now they put these bars and everything on the outside of a lot of these buildings to keep the monkeys out. The monkeys are a curse and a blessing. They brought tourism to the area, but they also uh, chew on cables and take everything. And I don't know, they're uh, kind of a pest at times also. You got this little kitty here. Kitty, 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 meow. Yeah, you can see they had uh, this road over here has like a little fresh market and stuff, but it's closed up now. And then a lot of these houses, they, uh, they open up on the ground floor, they sell things, they make a little restaurant or whatever. Here's looks like a fresh market, probably seafood. Probably get here early in the morning to get your wares. And then it leads into another uh, market down here. You guys selling some of the bamboo snacks here. And then they sell the things for the temples and the flowers and everything. So this is the Ming Lotbury Citadel. It's just part of the old city wall here. You can see the houses and everything built right here along it. And they have it braced up to keep it from falling down. All right, guys, that's going to finish up our little video here in Lotbury. I just uh, spent a little bit of uh, time walking around, showing you a little bit of the things that are here. And, uh, you know, a great thing about this is if you come and do like a little walking tour, you never know what you'll find. It's Thailand, so you'll be, uh, you'll be surprised. They'll just see something that's uh, pretty cool. And you're like, wow, that's nice. And uh, I just showed you mostly of the temples and the ruins and everything that are here. And they're just amongst all the buildings and houses and everything. Some of them are free, some of them are pay. And then I also showed you some of the ones that I've made videos of. So if you wanted to see more, you can go check out those videos. And uh, you can see right behind me, this is just the, uh, ambassador's residence and it's all surrounded by a wall so you can just walk and you can see a little bit of the ruins over the wall and everything so anyway this is over here in the old part of Lotbury there's a new Lotbury and then there's the old part of Lotbury and the old parts where the train stations at so you can get off the train and just uh, walk around here there's hotels there's uh, little guest houses and stuff like that all along here so easy, you could find a hotel or whatever on a Agoda and you could stay here, spend as much time as you wanted. I like it, Lotbury is a nice little town. It's uh, not near as touristy as a lot of Thailand. So it's uh, got a great feel to me. So anyway, if you like the video, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. This is the kind of videos I do. I just do these open narratives and show you a little bit about uh, what I see, tell you a little bit about what I know. If you like it, subscribe, stick around. Leave me a comment, if, tell me what you think, or if you want to do it, or if you have any questions, ask me in a comment also. And most importantly, smash the like button, and uh, that helps my videos get promoted. So from over here in Lotbury, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.